Hey, what is up parents? This video is meant to get you and your child set up on Zoom. So let's get to it. So before we go any further, teachers, if you want to know how to set up a video conference chat for your students, go ahead and click that link above. Parents, stick with me here. So with all the craziness that's going on in our state, in our country, in our world, a lot of teachers are finding new ways about reaching their students live. So one of the avenues is through Zoom. I'm also going to make one on Google Hangouts later next week, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in checking that out as well. But Zoom is something that I and other teachers will be using in order to video conference with students live to make all sorts of cool things happen that otherwise could not. So what I want to do today is I want to just walk you through the steps in getting your child set up on Zoom so that way he or she can video conference with their teacher and their peers as if they really were at school but they'll be at home. Now I should also mention that if your child's teacher isn't using Zoom as a video conferencing app then you might want to reach out to them and see how they're going to go about communicating with their students. It might be a different avenue so make sure you reach out to your child's teacher to find out what is best suited for them. So without further ado, let's kind of walk into it. Signing in and getting set up on a meeting is really easy because you aren't the one that is creating the meeting. The teacher is creating the meeting. Your child is just joining the meeting. So in order to get to the right URL, you're just going to go to zoom.us, zoom.us, and then you would just click join a meeting. You don't have to have an account or any type of sign in in order to join a meeting. You have to have an account to create one, which with the teacher would be doing that. But you just have to join one. So I would just press join. And then the teacher is going to send you the meeting ID in order to join that meeting. And then from there, it is really just some minor tweaks to make sure that the mic is working and the video is working and all that good stuff. Okay, now if you're on a PC, desktop, or a laptop, and you have the Zoom app, it will probably ask you to open Zoom as soon as you type in that code. If you don't have the Zoom application, it should allow you to go right into the browser version. But if for some reason it doesn't, you just have to download Zoom, which is a free application that you can get on anything. So when I press open Zoom, it's automatically going to load up this screen here. Let me pull this over for you. And it's also pulling up the Join with Computer Audio, which is what I'm going to want to do. So I'm going to press Join with Computer Audio. And I can't join my video because I'm currently on this screen looking at you guys. But what I can do is right now, what this is, is this camera is looking at from my phone. So it's showing another screen. So what I can do is I'm going to put myself on from my phone to show you guys that there's two things going on here. So here's me, right? So I have two different video chats going on simultaneously through Zoom. Now parents pay attention here. This is the most important part. Getting into Zoom is easy. But when you're on Zoom, it's really important for your child to know where the mute button is. It's down at the bottom down here. Because otherwise, imagine if there are 25 people on the video chat that are all unmuted. You're not going to be able to hear anything that's going on. So you want to stay muted unless you have something to say. Now right now my video isn't currently on, otherwise my video would be shown up here. It's not on because my video is currently being used to capture me on another software. So I can't use the video in two different places. But you want to make sure that your child is muted unless they have something to say. So what I'll be doing in my video chats is I'll ask students to raise their hand, I'll call on a student, they'll unmute themselves, share what they have to say, and then mute themselves again. So that way no one is going to be super noisy and not be able to hear anything. Now I also wanted to show you guys the app version of Zoom. So I'm on the app right now and at the very bottom, I can take a look, the icon, I'm still able to mute and turn off my video. So if you're using an iPad or an iPhone or tablet, make sure that your child knows where those buttons are. Okay, that's pretty much all there is to it for Zoom. Really simple to get the student signed on. The teacher has the tough part in getting everything else set up. But for you guys, you're golden. So make sure your child knows where that mute and video button are, and they're going to be all set in order to have some real live conferencing with their teachers and their peers. I'm really excited to be a part of this. I can't wait to show you guys more soon. We will see you around.